I have three words to describe this next movie car. Toga. 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 This is the actual iconic screen used 1959 Corvette from Animal House. It was the only one used in the movie and is featured on pretty much every movie poster and promo picture with the entire cast, including the late John Belushi. Generations have played with its toys, models, and die cast cars. The iconic car vanished from the public for 40 years. It was located in Oregon in the shed of 70s national drag racing champion Paul Smith. When Paul retired from racing, he got into the movie transportation business. When he was working on the set of Animal House, he offered the car, which was a gift to his wife, to Universal Studios for four weeks for only 400 bucks. After the movie, the car was parked back in the shed and sat untouched for 40 years, exactly as it was used in the movie, even with the prop license plate and the narrow white wall tires. To sell it, Paul would only accept the six-figure payment in $100 bills. That's despite the fact that he lost the keys and the car hadn't started in four decades. Brian Grahams worked out a deal and literally pushed it out of the shed and pushed it into Volt Museum and eventually got it running. Aside from being a movie car, Corvette purists will love knowing that it has the factory 283 dual quad four speed with two tops and a Wonder Bar radio. It only has 37,000 miles and it still has the original paint. It's an amazing condition. This little red Corvette was an iconic car for an iconic comedy, which is why I'm excited for the next video, which features another National Lampoon's iconic vehicle. Hey, what did the frat guy say when the other frat guy offered him a pamphlet? Brochure.